Welcome to this section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to continue our discussion of geometry and we're going to move into really one of the core fundamental sections of geometry that everybody thinks of when they actually think of geometry and that is the concept of an angle. Okay? We're going to talk about what an angle is and we're going to talk about how to classify angles and you're going to have a lot of weird words in here and a lot of foreign you know, uh, uh, terminology but we're going to make that clear so that when you're reading your book and doing your homework uh, all of that will make uh, total sense to you. Okay? So I guess the first thing I want to ask you is, what do you think an angle is? Okay, an angle is uh, is a is a unit of measure. Okay, and it's used to measure the distance between two rays that are apart, that are set apart from one another. Okay, now let me see if I can explain that a little bit better. Um, if you have a, a line segment, let's say you know something this long, you can put a ruler up and you can measure that the distance between this and this is eight inches or ten inches or whatever it is and you can go off in your car and you can drive down the road in a straight line and you can tell me how many miles it would take you to drive from point A to point B. That is a unit of measure, it's a distance, right? We call it distance, we measure in miles or inches or whatever, okay? But let me ask you this, if you had, okay, if you had a line set, a, a, a array, I guess is what I'm trying to say here, okay, starting at point B and traveling through point A, and we talked about rays in the last section, this is array BA, okay? This is ray BA. I'm just showing you how to write it, but this is the ray I'm talking about here. And then attached to this common uh, point here, I drew another ray, okay, that started at B and it went through the point C. So this one is BC ray, okay? I have ray BA and ray BC, okay? And this common point here, we're going to call it the vertex the vertex. Again, all this stuff is just terminology. Once you learn the terminology, it's, it's simple. You can kind of think of vertex anyway because, you know, it kind of sounds like apex almost a little bit. Vertex is that point where the two rays come together, that point that's called a vertex. Okay? So two rays, this ray and this ray. Okay? So how would you express how far open they were? Okay? Because obviously this is, you know, this, this is open this far right here. Okay? But I could have two other rays that were closed a little bit more. I don't have to draw the, the dots here to show you, but there's two rays there, okay, like this. Or I can have them opened up a lot farther, like this, right? And what if I'm interested in, in measuring how far open they are? Okay, this one's open a little bit less and this one's open a little bit more, okay? And how, how do I want to do that? Well, I have to use the concept of an angle, okay? So an angle, it just, uh, is the measurement of openness between BET between two rays. Okay? Openness. That's the best word I could come up with. Vertex is at the point. So basically, this angle right here, we put a line in here, this little arc right here, that means that there's an angle here. Okay? So this angle is bigger than this angle, right? Because this one's almost shut, right? And in fact, you know, I could draw one that was really tiny here. This open, openness is very small here. So this angle is bigger than this one, and this angle here is bigger than all the rest, okay? So an angle in the simplest, most layman's terms, you have to have some way of measuring how open something is. I mean, think about it, you open the door, okay? If you just barely crack the door, we say that it has a very small angle that it's opened at, okay? But if you open the door wide open, you know, there's a big angle there between 